Ginza is known as one of the fanciest districts in Tokyo, where Tokyo's classiest styles and brands meets modern designs and creativity in an enchanting blend. Here, you'll find some classic household fashion names on a massive scale, and reimagine with some pretty unique window designs to draw you inside their wondrous shopping centers. But beyond the upscale malls and fancy restaurants, you'll find that Ginza has much more to offer, like a stunning art aquarium, a Michelin-starred ramen shop, and an enchanting bar that looks like something out of Harry Potter. So join me as we dive into this list and discover what exactly happens when you mix some of Tokyo's most unique locations in the city's classiest district. Number 7. Salon Ginza Sabo First up, we have Salon Ginza Sabo, an amazing restaurant that mixes the classic Japanese taste shoku meals in a modern and elegant setting. Hidden away in Salon's own shopping store, this restaurant not only has some great full course meals you can enjoy, but also one of the most appealing matcha desserts you'll find in Tokyo. When you enter, you'll be met with a casual and modern looking interior with comfortable lighting and seating to enjoy your upcoming meal. Out of all the Teishoku set meals, the karaage meal looked the most impressive and delicious. One of the things I especially liked about this particular restaurant is the ability to choose multiple mini sides with your teishoku set so you can cater your meal to just your liking. But while the teishoku looks pretty impressive and is quite delicious, the main event, which was the matcha tiramisu, was coming out next. When the matcha dessert came out, we were very impressed with the presentation as it looked just like the special rock gardens Japan is famously known for. The color palette was also amazing, as the bold red strawberries complemented the smooth green matcha contours and the white sugar powder that lined the outside. And just like every other dessert mentioned on this channel, it looks as good as it tastes. The matcha powder is just the right amount of tea flavor, while the milkiness from the tiramisu helps smooth out and sweeten the dessert. Speaking of sweetening the flavor, as you dig deep, you'll even find some nice mochi balls to round out this already amazing dish. Salon Ginza Sabo is a fantastic place not only to enjoy a great meal, but also to experience an amazing dessert you can't miss when you're in Ginza. Number 6. Ginza 6. No trip to Ginza would be complete without paying one of the upscale malls a visit, and Ginza 6 is the perfect place to get the full experience. As you enter Ginza 6, you are met with a truly stylish interior that you can't find anywhere else in Tokyo. Not only is the interior impressive, but the number of top quality stores you can find here will also blow you away. Top brands like Dior, Gucci, Chanel, and Cartier are some of the hundreds of high-end stores you'll find here. Also, side note, sorry if I butchered any of those names. And while the mall can get pretty pricey, if you see something you like, you can take advantage of the tax-free benefits some of the stores offer if you're a tourist. But even if you're not in the mood to shop for anything expensive, you can still walk around to appreciate the beautiful style and designs this mall has to offer. Ginza 6 is the place to go if you want to experience what Ginza's famously known for. Number 5. Mohu Mohu Owl Cafe Mohu Mohu Owl Cafe is tucked away in the side streets of Ginza right across from the glorious Ginza 6. In fact, it's so well hidden Hidden, you would almost miss this place if it weren't for the owl banner flapping in the wind. As you make your way inside, dozens of curious and cute owls immediately come into view, with some already directly above you. And once you pay your cheap entrance fee and approach the main area, you will be overloaded with cuteness as dozens of owls immediately lay their gaze upon you, almost beckoning to be petted. What's even more adorable, they have dozens of owls of all sizes, from small and cute little owls you can fit in your hand, to massive beasts that are
are half the size of your body. But if you think they might look a little intimidating, they're actually very passive and not scary to pet at all. If you still aren't convinced, just look at all these great names the owners gave the owls. Here, all these owls are named after famous brands or people, making you feel like you're almost back at Ginza 6. At Mohu Mohu, you can check out the cute and stylish owl mascots of Chanel, Gucci, Armani, and many other great names you'd get a nice chuckle from. And if you still need some extra comfort to handle the owls, the staff here are also very friendly. It can really help you overcome that fear. The staff will regularly interact with you and teach you interesting facts about the owls to help you feel more comfortable around them. And if you're there long enough, they will even put the owls on your shoulder. This is fascinating and is something you definitely can take a picture of and keep as one of your cutest memories in Tokyo. Mohu Mohu is a cute getaway in Ginza and is something you need to see on your next visit in Tokyo. Number 4. Ginza no Ginger Main Store As the name suggests, this store is known for selling the famously delicious and aromatic ginger root in many different styles. You can get their specialized ginger in the form of many different flavored jams, flavored syrups, or even in the form of their panda mascot. And if you're not sure of what flavor you'd want to buy, then why not go up to the second floor and sample the flavors with their famous mountain-sized kakigori. If you're not quite sure what kakigori is, kakigori is a type of shaved ice treat that is very popular to eat in Japan during the summertime. They use this famous Japanese treat to cool down during the summer or to enjoy a light dessert, similar to what you would do with an ice popsicle. But as you can see, they like their shaved ice on a much larger scale here at Ginza Ginger, which you can order as either an interesting cheese base or ginger base. Once you pick the base, you then pick the jam flavor, which is either strawberries, oranges, or Earl Grey for the cheese base, and kiwi, strawberries, or orange for the ginger base. When you have placed your order and finally get the kakigori, you will be surprised by just how much shaved ice they can cram into a bowl. After you've prepared it to your liking and finally dig in, you'll be surprised by how much flavor can actually be packed into some simple shaved ice. The cheese base really gives it a cheesecake-like flavor and the jam helps it blend together perfectly, making it feel like you're eating an icy cheesecake without all the calories. And if you thoroughly enjoyed the jam you chose, well, then you can head back down to the first floor and buy some to take home with you as a sweet souvenir. Ginza Ginger is a great shop to enjoy whether you want a cool dessert or to escape those hot Japan summers and is a place you should definitely check out the next time you visit Ginza. Number 3. Hashigo Ginza Honten Ramen Hashigo Honten Ramen is tucked away in the back streets of Ginza and is not your typical kind of ramen. Unlike your typical Japanese ramen shop that serves a thick pork broth soup, Hashigo Ginza is actually Tantanmen, which is a special Chinese style noodle shop originating from the city of Chengdu in the Sichuan province. But while it isn't your typical ramen shop, you definitely need to check out why it has become so popular and made it to the top of this list. When you get to your seat, you'll notice some interesting items on the menu, with multiple variations you can choose from like the sesame and chili broth, the standard soy sauce broth, and the hot and sour broth. What sets Tantan Men apart from your typical Japanese ramen is the spicy and light but smooth and rich broth that is paired with any meat of your choice rather than being stuck with the traditional Japanese styled thick pork broth. And here at Hashigo Ginza, you cannot go wrong with any choice you pick because we ordered and tried all three styles just for you. I ordered the hot and sour Tantan Men, which is a light tasting broth with a great complement of spice in the mix to give you a nice little kick while you're enjoying the noodles and a nice slice of pork. Matilda ordered the soy sauce ramen, which is your standard light salty broth you can enjoy if you're either 
you're not the spicy type or just want something close to the traditional Japanese bowl of noodles. Then you have Mark, who ordered their signature broth, which is the hot chili and sesame tantan men. And this one was definitely my favorite of the three for a couple reasons. First, this broth is a great mix between the spicy kick you get from the hot and sour style soup, while adding in a perfect balance of sesame smoothness into the mix. The sesame even adds a slightly nutty taste to the broth, which is a unique but delicious combination to this already great experience. The second reason this broth is the best is the many different meats and styles you can choose within the chili and sesame broth variation. I thoroughly enjoyed my first Tantan Men experience and will definitely be coming back here many more times to sample every style they have. Number 2. Mitsukoshi Ginza Mall and Aquarium Museum Like Ginza 6, Mitsukoshi Mall has dozens of high-end shopping centers that have some really stunning items for sale. But the main reason this mall has made this list is not because of all the fancy items you can buy in here, but rather the fancy aquarium you can check out. This aquarium museum is hidden on the 9th and 8th floor within the Ginza Mitsukoshi building. And while this hidden gem could be easily missed, it is something you definitely need to see for yourself as this exhibit provides a really fun and artistic spin on how to see an aquarium. As soon as you enter, you are immediately immersed into the dark backdrop that is lit up by a beautiful array of lamps arching over you. This beautiful introduction is immediately followed up with colorful rows of aquatic displays. I was absolutely amazed and never imagined it possible to display different species of goldfish in such a unique and stunning way. Each room you walk into is a unique combination of beautiful fish, lights, reflections, and gets better than the last one. The best section in this place was the area where all the fish are in immaculately bright white cubes. It was amazing because you could literally see every detail of the goldfish in each exhibit. And with the creators of this museum being so artistic, it should be no surprise that they provide some great opportunities to snap amazing selfies or try to get that perfect artsy picture to make your friends wish they were there too. While this museum is relatively short, only lasting about 30 minutes, it is definitely a place worth putting on your list when you visit Tokyo. Number one, Tier Not Nog. Tier Not Nog is a truly unique and fascinating bar that not only highlights the classiness of Ginza, but also accentuates the unique themed bars and restaurants you'll find in Tokyo. When you first stumble across the bar, you'll be a little confused as you'll see what looks like a normal entrance to a normal bar. However, once you open the door, you will quickly find it is anything but that. As you descend the stairs, you'll immediately feel a different atmosphere from your typical bar and be met with what looks like a mysterious dead end. But this dead end is just the beginning. When you think you can't go any further, you are met with what seems like a magical sliding door on your right that opens to one of Ginza's best bars. As you make your way down the main passage, you will feel like you are transported to something out of Harry Potter. With the low lighting, amazing decorations, and mysterious jars of spices and powders all around you. But they don't just go all out on the decorations. As the seats are extremely soft and comfortable, and only make you feel even more like you have somehow wound up in the world of Harry Potter. While the atmosphere and decor is all very impressive, the wild and magical drinks you'll order here are the main attraction in what has elevated this bar to number one. There are almost an endless amount of amazing drink choices that would be impossible to have in just one trip. But out of the dozens of remarkable drinks you must try here, one of the more notable drinks is the delicious macaroon cocktail, which is a perfectly mixed vodka drink with a creative caramel sheet to hold the spectacular delicacy. And saving the craziest drinks for last, you have the one-of-a-kind blueberry or raspberry vodka cocktails that are not only perfect for your Instagram, but also perfect for your taste buds. And yes, 
Those clouds hovering on the outside of the drinks are indeed massive puffs of cotton candy. At the bar, you can see them whipping up not only your impressive drinks, but also your massive cotton candy. It is hilariously fun to look at and tear apart as you make your way to the center of your cocktail. And when you get to the center, you can enjoy the perfectly mixed fruity vodka cocktails that really do help make this place feel like a magical experience. Tear Not Nog is a truly unique place in Ginza and an unforgettable experience you cannot miss during your next trip to Tokyo. Like this video if you enjoyed all the classy things to do in Ginza, subscribe for more Japan and Tokyo content, and check out my affiliate links below when you plan your next trip to Japan. Alright, that's gonna do it, and until next time, I'll see you then.